Hey folks, Emily White here with the Pollock Report two-year-old spotlight presented by Stone Street Bread and Raised. Today I'm going to take us out to the West Coast to look at this weekend's Grade 3 Sorrento Stakes. It's six furlongs on the main track on Saturday's card, and we've got a field of eight fillies lining up to take a shot at Stakes Company, most of them for the first time. The horse that most caught my eye in this field was number five, Kathira. She broke her maiden in her second start at Santa Anita, and her pedigree is absolutely fascinating. By Cantheros, out of the family of Better Than Honor, the dam of Belmont winners, Jazil and Rags to Riches, among other stakes horses. Her dam cascading was a two-year-old stakes winner and half the Hollywood starlet winner streaming, as well as Treasuring, who was also stakes placed at two. Cascading is also a three-quarter sister to the dam of this year's Belmont stakes winner, Archangelo. She's obviously already got talent, being a winner and all, so look out for her, she might be a good one. Now obviously we have to talk about Dua for Zidane Racing Stables and Bob Baffert. She won on debut earlier in the meet at Del Mar, but it was a pretty narrow victory. She had to hold off some fast closers, including You're in Trouble and Feisty Matoli, who also show up in this race. She was a $400,000 yearling purchase for her connections, and she's got a nice pedigree. Her sire, Arrogate, was a little slower to develop, but she is a three-quarter sister to a two-year-old stakes winner in Grey Attempt, and I'm sure Bob Baffert will have her ready to go for the Sorrento. The last horse I want to talk about is Dreamfire. Now, Dreamfire is interesting. She broke her maiden in a stakes race, the Everett Nevin Stakes at Pleasanton, although this is a jump up for sure but she became the first stakes winner for her freshman sire, Flame Away. Flame Away was a two-year-old stakes winner himself, and her damn appreciating was a debut winner and third in the grade two Natalma stakes as a juvenile. Her connections purchased her earlier this April at the OBS sale for $140,000, and they're looking to grab another stakes with this talented young filly, so we'll see how she does. Well, thanks again for tuning in to the Pollock Report two-year-old spotlight presented by Stone Street Bread and Raised. Keep an eye out for their yearlings at the upcoming Phasic Tipton and Keeneland sales.